NASA has announced that Betelgeuse may finally have exploded after being stuck in the last stages of its life cycle for several decades. The explosion, which can be seen in the sky, will illuminate the night for several months to come. Let's take a closer look. Betelgeuse is the 12th brightest star in the night sky. It is probable that the name Betelgeuse originated in Arabic words, but the star had other names in Sanskrit, traditional Chinese, and even Hawaiian. The star is so vast, its size would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit if it were placed in the Sun's position in the solar system, that several telescopes have captured images of the star and spotted its shedding mass. Starting in 1993 and continuing for at least 15 years, its radius shrank by 15%, an astonishing amount for such a short time. Ongoing observations of Betelgeuse reveal that we still have much to learn about its structure. Observations of the Red Giant revealed that the gas that is leaving the star is colder than astronomers thought it would be. Scientists aren't sure how so much mass left the star while not generating a lot of heat. Possible explanations include magnetic fields or shock waves, but more work will be needed to confirm the models. Astronomers are also doing comparison studies with another red supergiant star, Antares, to better understand the situation. Meanwhile, scientists remain puzzled by Betelgeuse's ultra-fast rotation, which is about 150 times faster than expected. The life cycle of a star is largely determined by its overall mass. The bigger a star is in size, the faster it burns and the shorter its life cycle is. The mass of a star is determined by the amount of matter which is available in the nebula it exists in. Over time, chunks of this gas and debris are pulled together by gravity and collapse upon themselves, forming a protostar. Over millions of years, the star then continues to evolve as it passes through the different phases of its life cycle. In the final stages of a star's life, the hydrogen fuel contained on its surface runs out and the internal reaction which has been taking place in its core for millions of years suddenly slows down and stops. Without this reaction, the star starts to cool down and contract inwards through gravity, which causes it to expand. As the star expands, it causes the helium molecules found in its core to fuse. The energy released from this reaction prevents the core of the star from collapsing. Once the fusion of helium molecules ends, the core shrinks and begins fusing carbon. This process keeps repeating until iron appears in the core. The fusion reaction, thanks to the presence of iron, then starts to absorb energy, causing the core of the star to collapse. This implosion is an event that transforms massive stars into a supernova, and smaller stars similar to the size of our sun contract and turn into white dwarfs. This is the sixth stage of the life cycle of a star. In the final stage of its life cycle, the implosion of a star causes most of the debris from its outer layers to blast away into space. Scientists believe that a complete supernova of Betelgeuse would present an amazing opportunity for modern astronomy to study such an event for the first time in history. However, it won't come without complications. Betelgeuse is one of the closest stars to Earth at a distance of only 650 light years away. This makes it a fan favorite with professional and amateur astronomers alike. Betelgeuse is a red giant star, which means that when it reaches the end of its life, it will explode at a spectacular supernova, possibly even becoming a black hole in the process. Let's imagine that today, Betelgeuse calls it quits and puts on one heck of a cosmic light show. But before getting good seats for Betelgeuse's grand finale, what sort of damage could an exploding star do to Earth? Well, think of stars as being like nuclear power plants. If they explode, they're looking at a disaster of cosmic proportions. Anything within 50 light years of the exploding Betelgeuse will suffer massive shock waves and be inundated with dust and radiation. However, astronomers predict that humanity would probably survive this celestial eruption. Down here on Earth, we're going to see a very bright light in the sky. It would even be visible during the day and bright enough to rival a full moon at night. This light show is expected to go on for quite some time. This is because light has to travel 650 light years from its place in the universe to ours. The event will be breathtaking to behold, but will not affect life on Earth, except for the light show at night. We are about 10 times too far away to feel any repercussions from the explosion. If we weren't, well, that would be another story. If we were too close to Betelgeuse when it explodes, our atmosphere and cells could be fried by the radiation and gamma waves. When you're exposed to high doses of radiation, it can burn and scar your skin, cause genetic mutations, and can ultimately be lethal. 
Gamma radiation is incredibly powerful. It's pure energy, even more intense than light itself. If Betelgeuse were closer to Earth, it would be a literal and figurative lights out for all of us. Humans, animals, plants, you name it, it would all be toasted. An explosion that big from a star that immense would destroy life on Earth in seconds once the radiation hits us, even though the process of going supernova takes years. And even if we did have interplanetary ships to evacuate in time, Betelgeuse is so huge that there wouldn't be a planet in our solar system that's safe from the explosion. Thankfully, we're much too far from Betelgeuse to have any direct, observable, or harmful effects from the explosion. While there is no worry of harm to life, the supernova could impact Earth in some surprising ways. For example, many animals use the moon for navigation and are confused by artificial lights. Adding a second object as bright as the moon could be disruptive. It's not only wildlife that would be disturbed either. Ironically, astronomers themselves would have a hard time. Astronomical observations are already difficult when the moon is bright, and adding another bright light in the sky could hinder progress for years. And if Betelgeuse does defy the odds and blow up in our lifetimes, astronomers say there will be ample warning. Instruments on Earth would start detecting neutrinos, or gravitational waves generated by the explosion, as much as a day in advance. Analyzing data from the Hubble Space Telescope and several other observatories, NASA has concluded that the bright red supergiant star Betelgeuse quite literally blew its top in 2019, losing a substantial part of its visible surface and producing a gigantic surface mass ejection. These new observations yield clues as to how red stars lose mass late in their lives as their nuclear fusion furnaces burn out before exploding a supernovae. The amount of mass loss significantly affects their fate. However, Betelgeuse's surprisingly petulant behavior is not evidence that the star is about to blow up anytime soon. So, the mass loss event is not necessarily the signal of an imminent explosion. Scientists are hard at work analyzing data from different sources to piece together the puzzle of the star's petulant behavior before, after, and during the eruption. Scientists state that they have never before seen a huge mass ejection on the surface of a star. We are witnessing something that we don't completely understand. It's like watching stellar evolution in real time. The Titanic outburst in 2019 was possibly caused by a convective plume, more than a million miles across, bubbling up from deep inside the star. It produced shocks and pulsations that blasted off the chunk of the photosphere, leaving the star with a large, cool surface area under the dust cloud that was produced by the cooling piece of the photosphere. Betelgeuse is now struggling to recover from this injury. Weighing roughly several times as much as our moon, the fractured piece of photosphere sped off into space and cooled to form a dust cloud that blocked light from the star as seen by Earth observers. The dimming, which began in late 2019 and lasted for a few months, was easily noticeable, even by backyard observers watching the star change brightness. Though our sun has coronal mass ejections that blow off small pieces of the outer atmosphere, astronomers have never witnessed such a large amount of a star's visible surface get blasted into space. Therefore, surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections may be different events. In the coming years, astronomers may use the James Webb Space Telescope to detect the ejected material in infrared light as it continues moving away from the star. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one we provide for you. What are your thoughts on the idea of Betelgeuse blowing its top and seeing that explosion in the night sky? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.